fire up the airplane, we're going to East Africa. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> really good. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Good. We're, uh, we're in downtown Toronto. Because guess what? We're traveling in a month, and we have to get some shots. I don't think I will, but I think this guy's going to have to. So we're going to go to the travel doctor. Let's go check him out. Also, side note, when we walk in, the place looks super sketchy. It's not. It's awesome. But it's we're like in a closet. So get ready. <laughs> Is this the sketches you're talking about? That's some Dexter stuff. Yeah, I know. Right? Look at that. In case you want to drag a body from one room to the other one. Uh huh. Jake or Spencer? Who's? Uh, Spencer. Okay, just move from the door. Yes, you got. Sure. Open. You yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you can just. No worries. Let's turn this way. Turn Andrew. Yes. So we're at, we're at the doctor's office because we are going to Kenya and Tanzania. And in order to do that, you have to get vaccinations and you also sometimes have to get malaria pills. So we're at the doctor today to figure out what we need. Both of us, because we're both going. <laughs> this guy's gonna have to get yellow fever. It's not a fun one. What? What do you mean it's not fun? Whoa. So they do require when you're coming from an infected area. Okay. If you've had them, they've been for life. Yeah, I have. So you probably don't need any shots. Okay, great. You just might need some malaria pills, not taking a test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because for sure you had to have one for school. It's a bit warm in here. Oh, good. You're generally okay with that thing? Yes. <laughs> As long as you promise to be nice. No. <laughs> I will try. As long as you stay still, don't flinch or move. Okay. It'll be okay. To begin, do you have any allergies to eggs or medications that nope. you know of? Any immune suppression, HIV, AIDS, lens disorder, yeah. cancer? Filming his reaction, right? Yeah. Not gonna look. Look at the tears. For life. Life. <laughs> it's not and a great angle for the band aid. Fever. Okay. You can turn your arm later. But this one may sting a bit, just to warn you. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Should have warned me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, no such a little pinch. And it's good for life. Yep, it feels like a wasp. Is it dying? Oh, it's dying. It's the fluid that tingles or stings. And oh that's yeah. It. I know that. Okay. <laughs> Is that it? Go away after a few minutes. That's it. You're done with the shot. You survived. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm good for life. Well done, sunshine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Guys. So, for anyone who's wondering, I live so far, but uh, we'll give you updates throughout the day and uh, let you know if anything happens. Swish yeah. swish. You're not letting us be very speedy, truck. No. Your name's very confusing. Okay. Okay. So the first time I went to Kenya was in 2008, and a friend of mine named Reed invited me to go. Now I met Reed when I was in university. He came in where I was working at Old Navy to buy some pants for his son, and the next day I came back and he left a note saying, I'm a reporter and I would love to do a story on you. So we did, we met, we became instant like besties. He got me an internship at ABC working as a production assistant, and we just always stayed in touch. You're so loud. Um, so in 2007, he invited me to go with him and his family to help build a school with Free the Children, which is what, is it, what it was at the time, but now it's we. And it was a life-changing experience. I saw the work that they were doing, and I was, was genuinely enamored by what I saw. And then uh, I learned the power of my story there. So, we're gonna go to East Africa. What does that mean? We're going to Kenya. And we're going to Tanzania. That's on the continent of Africa, but those are two countries. Very different, very specific. So this is going to be my my tenth summer in Kenya and my third time in Tanzania. First time, I climbed Kilimanjaro. Boom. Second time, trips last year. And this, this year, trips again. But 
I'm not going by myself this year. This guy, who you can't see behind the camera or to the side of it, he's coming too. So we're gonna capture our whole journey and the things that we do while while we're there. So we would love for you guys to, to check us out. It's not happening till July, so like there's some time. But uh, click subscribe and click the little bell so you get notifications of when we post stuff because we're gonna do our best to post uh, from Kenya. Okay, so we're, we're at the Epicure shop, which is one of my favorite places to eat in Cabbage Town, which is where the wee offices are. It's like an old school Italian deli, which is something that I love. So I come here as often as I can when I'm home to support them because they're awesome. Okay, that's it for the work day. We're gonna go get my car washed. Come with us. At the car wash. Do, 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 yeah. Do, do, do. I mean, I like it. Yes. Too. How nice. So some of you guys who aren't from Toronto may not know this, but they have these magical car washes here where you put in a Ford Escape and same color but out comes a Porsche 911. Oh wait, wait that's ours. It's okay, I don't think the wheelchair would have fit anyways. Look at that, so fresh, so clean. Aw, oh, yeah. Next to you, the sky is so blue. Not blue at all? Not really today. Okay. Folks, that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed our journey. As always, you're my new best friend. Call me every five minutes. Bye. Okay, just in case anyone's wondering, it's been like nine or ten hours since I got that shot, and I can barely feel my arm.